Happy Friday, August 27th. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Uh, ending the week on a nice green note, uh, plus 22.13 on the day. All runners. I uh, just traded four different symbols. Uh, got in and out of Netflix a few different little times, plus 9.95. Zoom was my only loser, minus 141. Square for plus 7.20. And Tesla booked 6.39. So let's go over these, and then I'll come back and give you a little recap of the week. So first trade and biggest trade of the day was Netflix and Netflix just uh, this this second volume bar here started growing really quickly. So ended up getting in somewhere around here long and caught that move all the way up to the pivot. Uh, I think when it bounced back up again, I ended up getting out of the rest of my position and then when it uh, or actually when it pulled back here, I played a couple of these bounces. And then it finally pushed through, came down, played this bounce, caught a little bit more, uh, came down. I tried to play the bounce one more time, overstayed my welcome, and it just when it pushed lower, I just cut out on my last piece. So I gave a little bit back in the end, uh, but still booked nine ninety five on the day in Tesla, uh, Netflix. Zoom, zoom, zoom was my only loser. So and this was this was one where. It just had some initial weakness uh, here and then flushed into negative territory. So when it bounced up to unchanged or right in between the unchanged and the pivot, I got short looking for it to roll over. It did a little bit. I got out of a third of my position here, but then when it pushed up there, I just, I just ended up cutting out of the rest and taking a, uh, taking a small loss. Uh, square, another nice runner to the upside. Uh, square, let's see. Oh yeah. So, Square, it, um, it it started off strong, came all the way back down to your lows a day. It dipped into negative territory, but bounced right back up. So, I was, as I was talking about this in the in the live stream, I was like, if it if it holds positive here, uh, I'm going to get long. And so I got long right in here, and sure enough, boom, it just shot up. Uh, I think I got out of my last piece uh, in this area here. So nice seven hundred twenty dollar winner on that one. And then lastly, Tesla. Tesla took some money from me earlier in the week, so. You know, it's just it was just right that it gave some back today. Uh, big volume spike here, uh, so when it pulled back a little bit, got long and caught this, caught that winner uh, for plus six thirty nine. So that is my day. Let's bring the sheet back and show you the week. So for the week, uh, booked a total of two thousand three oh six. Excuse me, two thousand four seventy three was the total for the week uh, on twenty seven trades. Uh, had just one mighty 90 for 147, two, uh, two small pairs trades, uh, basically a scratch plus 20 bucks. And then the runners plus 2,300, uh, for a total of 2473. What's interesting is, you know, I've, since the beginning of the year, I've been tracking my P and L per day of week, uh, there for a while, Wednesdays and Thursdays were really rocking, uh, as my best days and Tuesday continues to be my worst. And then, and then Friday, you know, there's some Fridays with holidays or different things going on that I don't trade. You see some blanks there. Uh, that means I didn't trade on those days. Uh, but now Friday has become my most profitable day of the week to trade, which is interesting. Tuesday continues to be absolutely putrid, only $1,700 on all of the Tuesdays, uh, going back to the beginning of this year. So, uh, really interesting. I always kind of felt like midweek, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday were my best days of trading. Uh, it turns out so far this year, uh, Friday is, is pulling into the lead. So interesting stuff. Um, going, and then all, uh, since the beginning of the year, total PNL, uh, almost 46,000. If I go back to when we first started tracking this, uh, at the end of August, uh, total PNL summary on day trades, up over 81k uh, since then, so continuing to do well. Uh, we are we're actually coming out with a new strategy course here shortly. Uh, it's not just specifically for day trading, but it can be used for day trading as well. So it can be used for kind of more position swing type trading as well as day trading. So look for more info on that in the coming weeks. We are also going to be rolling out Orion, our uh, trading platform. Uh, our custom trading platform that you see here. I've been trading on it for the last six months or so. We've been working with the developers to kind of hone in a couple little nuances 
Uh, it's built specifically for exactly how we trade. And so we'll be rolling that out next week to a small group of beta users. And then in the coming weeks, we'll be rolling it out to everyone. So uh, one of the biggest benefits is, A, the technology is just amazing. It's it's quick. It's fast. It's lightweight, meaning it doesn't make your computer sound like an airplane trying to cool down. So it's, it's great that way. And then secondly, the way we have it structured is with the, with the broker that it's connected to, <clears throat> we're able to get you zero commissions. So zero commissions trading stocks and equities and zero commissions trading uh, trading options as well. So I was day trading primarily on Tastyworks and Toss prior to using our this new platform. And I was racking up anywhere four or five, sometimes six or seven thousand dollars a month in commissions. And so this is just gonna be a flat hundred dollar a month fee. Yeah, that's right. One hundred dollars even. Uh, instead of, you know, what I was paying before four, five, six, seven thousand a month for commission. So really excited about that. Uh, again, if you, if you're interested and want to be a part of the beta group, shoot me an email at info at navigation trading.com. Uh, and we'll, we'll try to phase you in. It's kind of a first come first serve basis. So let me know. And I look forward to getting this technology in your hands. Everybody have a fantastic weekend and we'll catch you next week.